Hello and uh, welcome back to another video from uh, trainingright.com. In this uh, video, I will be showing you as how to write uh, uh, functions in uh, Ruby. Um, we will be using a lot of functions as we go ahead and do some automation testing using Ruby. Um, so it is important that we understand as how to write some functions. So to do that, you could use um, any tool to write your functions um, as a Ruby file. So I'm going to be using the Notepad++. Uh, plus plus. So um, I do recall that we have saved uh, the shortcut to the Notepad++ plus plus on our desktop. So I'm going to be taking you there. And uh, here is my shortcut. So I will start my Notepad++. Plus plus. OK. Um, here, uh, we'll write a simple program um, that can do uh, uh, things uh, like uh, down the road, let's say, if you have uh, uh, to test uh, uh, an application, um, uh, like an e-commerce application, where we have uh, uh, we are adding some items to the shopping cart, where we are removing some items from the shopping cart, all that um, can be made as a part of a function. Um, so, um, say for instance. Um, um, let me uh, quickly give you a demo of what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, and then for a second, we go to our site, which is trainingright.net. Um, now, over here, uh, I think we have a project. Um, and uh, as you can see, um, just to keep it a little bit clean uh, and simple uh, to demonstrate the uh, e-commerce uh, capabilities. Um, um, we have this site uh, where we could go and then search, where we could go and then search for any item. So let's say I'm looking for uh, Panasonic, um, Panasonic uh, TVs. Right? So I search for that and here is my Panasonic TV. So I uh, like what I see here. Um, so let me go and then add it to the cart. So the sale price of this is uh, 345. The regular price is 393. So if I go and then add it to my cart, um, we come to a page where it displays that it's 345, and uh, we do further get tremendous discount of 101 dollars and 25 cents. So the uh, final price is going to be 243. So I could go ahead and then buy more. So if I do like two of them, I could go and then recalculate the order. And uh, as you can see, it's six ninety, um, but the discount has not uh, upgraded um, or uh, updated rather. So it is still one hundred to uh, fifty. So that would be something like a functionality that we would be testing because. Uh, um uh, according to our uh, functionality behavior of the application uh, the test case uh, would say that as uh, you buy these items um, and if you increase the quantity the discount should also get applied so in this case the discount is not getting applied so even if i go to three the other functionality does work though so as you can see it is incrementing but the discount still remains the same so if I uh, revert it back to a single and then do a, a calculation, so it's the discount is still the same. So that uh, could be like a bug that we would like to find out. Um, so if we have to do the automation of this, um, as a part of our course, uh, we will be using uh, water uh, to do this uh, and capybara to do this. Uh, so I will be showing you as how uh, we could be writing the code um, using uh, cucumber and uh, ruby and uh, capybara and uh, water um, as a part of the series. Um, so in order to do that, uh, we basically have to know as how to write uh, functions uh, in Ruby, and that is uh, uh, the topic uh, here for uh, this video. So if I need to go ahead and then write a function, um, this is basically what I am going to do. I will go ahead here in um, any of um, any of uh, um, the tool. Doesn't matter if you're using NetBeans, if you're using um, Notepad plus plus, if you're even using the poor man's tool, which is just a Notepad. Um, so uh, it really doesn't matter. There are some paid tools uh, like Ruby Mind, which I will be showing you. Um, as a part of this course, but uh, for now uh, we are dealing with the Notepad Plus. 
So um, let's say uh, the we want to create a function, and that function should be something like this. Uh, uh, it is about what? It is about let's say adding, right? Add an item um, to the shopping uh, shopping cart. All right. So that's that's something. Now, if you see here, what we have done in here is uh, we visited the site and then we uh, searched for an item and then we added that to the cart, right? Now, after uh, we add to the cart, we could just proceed to the checkout, right? So click to proceed to the checkout, uh, something like that. Or uh, once I do that, um, I could be entering uh, the customer information uh, for shipping information, <coughs> excuse me, billing information, and that would require me to enter um, a credit card uh, and then finally do uh, like a submit order um, and when I submit the order it will show me uh, that it had processed my credit card and stuff like that. All right so in order to do something like that we would be uh, first of all uh, we just have to um, think about our uh, manual processing. So uh, the manual processing is uh, the test steps would be add an item to the shopping cart and then um, let's say uh, click on the um, submit button or uh, checkout button, something like that. Uh, whatever is there, uh, click on the checkout button and uh, enter uh, customer uh, customer information. Um, then I guess it was uh, enter um, valid uh, credit card credit card information. And uh, eventually, you would say uh, enter. Um, uh, this is customer billing information. Let's say billing information. Enter customer uh, customer shipping information. Um, and finally, uh, let's say uh, click uh, on the checkout um, button. Right. Um, and uh, maybe it's uh, something like uh, verify uh, order, right? So these are th this is how uh, I would say th these would be the steps, right? Now let us see how we can be converting these uh, English steps into uh, uh, Ruby functions. Um, what I would suggest is uh, just uh, it's all about how you uh, word uh, your functions. So make sure that uh, you word them uh, in a descriptive way, uh, right? Make sure that there are no spelling mistakes and all that. And keep uh, one of the uh, thumb rule uh, here is uh, your function should all be lower cases. Um, so what in order to convert this into functions what i'm just going to do is do some uh underscores if i do the underscores uh and uh, notice that i would very quickly be feeling what is called an uh, um uh, skeleton uh functions uh, meaning there is no uh, behavior in it but it would still be ready so um okay so this is this this one uh, this one I will convert it into a function. To do to convert it into a function, I would put a def in front of it, and then I would do an end here. So basically, what it has become now is it has become a, a function. Now you would say that well, uh, that's a function, but what kind of functionality do you have in it? So right now, I'm just gonna uh, just gonna say. Um, um, uh, behavior or uh, functionality functionality uh, or adding an item coming soon at, at least what we will see is uh, if I put the real functionality here uh, would I be able to call this function so the function is whatever we have done this step and we just put it in the depth so over here what I would do first of all I would just go ahead and then do the underscores and uh, if I do the underscores here I 
very quickly um, making it ready as a function. So I'll take the English sentence uh, uh, and uh, do that and then do that. And I will say uh, copy this. Uh, of course, I'm not going to do for all of them because uh, I basically want to functionality for uh, click on the checkout button coming so, um Let's say that. Uh, click on the uh, checkout uh, button. Okay, so we did these two. For the rest, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to, for now, convert them into some comments. And uh, uh, there it is. Uh, so now let us um, see if I can uh, make it as a Ruby to the uh, file and run it so uh, I'll go file save as and um, I'm gonna be saving it into my um, C drive here and into Ruby code and in the Ruby code I'm just gonna do a double uh, port here and call it uh, uh, I don't know um, uh, testing right so I would call it testing shopping part dot rb. All right. Okay. So I saved it. Now what I'm going to do is uh, now notice as soon as I convert that uh, or save that into an rb, uh, the way the function um, is identified in Ruby, it highlighted that depth. So if I just come over here and then do a depth and uh, do and uh, end here and quickly do these underscores. Um, again, I can do it for all but at least so that you get an idea. Um, and here, uh, in between, I'm just gonna just say here, copy here. And the real code is what we will be putting very soon. Enter customer with an information symbol. Uh, functionality for this. Is coming soon. Okay, good. So we did that. Now let us uh, run it. <clears throat> so I'm gonna bring up uh, um, and navigate myself to uh, CDC. Uh, I think the uh, Ruby code. Right. Yeah. There it is. And I need to run this testing shopping. Uh, how did I spell it? Cat. I did not do a cart. So anyway, so I can either say Ruby run for me, execute uh, for me this testing shopping shopping uh, cat dot rb. Uh, sorry for that spelling mistake there. Okay, hit enter. Um, okay, so what we should see right now is it should it should it should have called these functions right. Now you were expecting it should it should do this. Now the fact is, where did we call these functions? So we have declared the functions. We have, let's say, imagine that this is some functionality that we have added into it. But where did we call the function? So nowhere we have called the function. So let's say we just go in here and then we are going to call the function. So now the question is, uh, how do you call these functions? Uh, this is what I'm going to do. So uh, the bottom here, um, I'm just going to go and then call uh, this function. So calling a function would be name of the function right here I will go and I will uh, do this so the customer comes in let's say he wants to add that and then after that the customer comes in and after he adds that he wants to click on the button so we are calling this function um, and and then he would go and then do that right so he will come here and he will add that Right. So now I have created the functions and I'm calling these functions in this file. You need not call these functions in these files. Um, it could be like a separate file there where we could call. But for now, um, just to prove my point. Uh, so we go in here, hit an F3 and then we run it. So here it is. So functionality for adding an item coming soon. So that function has been called. That function has been called. That function has been called. Now, uh, as a part of our uh, course, we will be putting in here uh, Capybara code, right? So we will be writing the 
our automation um, framework that we will be creating creating as a part of this course would be um, end to end solution um, uh, testing of this uh, site where we would go ahead and then we would put things like uh, uh, the water uh, code and we will also be putting in um, because we will be seeing it uh, how it is done uh, differently so um, Capybara is one of the automation uh, framework that we could be using or we could be using uh, water water is uh, uh, spelled as w a t i r uh, that is the I mean, basically it's nothing but web uh, automated testing in ruby so w a t i r web automated testing in ruby uh, well it's 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 a kind of like powerful tool uh, it's uh, uh, growing very fast becoming the tool of choice for most of the automated testers uh, um, and we will be uh, filling in uh, these functions with the water um, you know, code uh, in the future classes. All right, thank you again so much. Uh, this uh, short video was to show you as how to create uh, functions in Ruby and how to call them, and then uh, filling in the functionality with the water code would be coming um, later uh, as a part of this series. Thank you.